Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing 5 easy mounts to get. This will get you a total of 9 mounts, but I lump some of them into the same category because they're very easy. This is a very easy way to increase your mount counter for achievements or anything of that matter, so let's get into it. The first two drakes up are going to be the Twilight and Black Drake. These drakes are very easy to get. They were released with Wrath of the Lich King. Um, you pretty much need to head to Wimsworth's Temple, where I'll show you on my map. And all of these are going to be pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to show you where to go and how to get them. So, Pretty much for the Twilight Drake, you want to do this dungeon or raid on the 25-man. And for the Black Drake, you want to do it on 10-man. So, I'll show you me doing that right now. As you see, if you just walk in here and you just kill the boss, it'll do a little bit of RP and it'll pull a trash in the room, but it will grant you the Twilight Drake. And same thing on 10 man, it'll grant you the Black Drake. So, very simple, just be sure not to kill any of the other adds beforehand. Specifically the Twilight Drakes, but everyone should be able to solo this by now, so. Next mount we have up is the Amani Battle Bear. This mount is also very easy to get. It's on a time restraint, though, in a dungeon. Zulaman, I believe. So you just want to head this way through the Eastern Plague Lands because you're not able to fly into the Ghost Lands. So you just need to walk up here and head into Zulaman this way. Make sure it's on Heroic. It's very simple to do. You just want to kill three of the bosses, four of the bosses in here. And it's very, very simple. You shouldn't have a problem. Once you kill those bosses marked on my thing right there, just talk to this lady in here. And she'll just start running around and shooting fireballs at different vases until you'll hear that audio cue. Once you hear that audio cue, that means that she found her bag, which contains the Imani Battle Bear. So, very easy mount to get. Don't really have to do too much explaining with this one because of how simple it is. That's going to be a trend with a lot of these. So the next mounts we have, these are four of them. I don't have the red one, none of us had the red one, but it's all the battle tanks in AQ-40. These mounts are very, very, very common, except for the red one. Right there, you see us have them. All you have to do is kill bosses and trash, and you'll almost guarantee get all three. You might have to run it a few times for the red one. Number four is the Bronze Drake. This mount, I'm going to show you how to run the dungeon, pretty much. You want to head here to the Caverns of Time, and we're going to be doing the scenario where Argus, where Arthas invades um, the Stratholme. So, you're going to want to head on here into the Caverns of Time, into the Culling Stratholm. Be sure to collect the quest from Chromie, because if not, you won't be able to do this part. I did not collect it, but I ended up going back and getting it, not in the footage, though. You pretty much want to click on the boxes right there, and all the way through this trail. There's going to be a lot of RP for this dungeon, so... But once you get to this point here, just follow the quest line until you get to here. Once you get here... There'll be a little dialogue, just run around here killing packs of zombies until the two bosses spawn. Once the bosses spawn, you just want to kill them and then go back to Arthas. This again is timed, but you really shouldn't have a problem with it. I AFK'd a bunch in it and just wasn't, you know, the time was not a problem at all, especially at 110. So, you want to just talk to Arthas. There's a lot of RP in this dungeon, so... Yep, so just follow what I do here and you'll see. Very self explanatory once you watch this. Just kind of stay next to Arthas and make sure that he's cool. Once you kill those adds, the other boss is going to spawn. You want to kill every boss except Malganus for this. Not 
So, after you kill the boss, just keep talking to Arthas every time he stands still for a while, and pretty much just run through this dungeon. This is, if you've done the Chromie event recently, you, you know how long this takes sometimes. You don't have to kill all the trash, but I I like to here. It doesn't take too much longer for me because I'm a druid, so at least on this character. So once you get here to Malganus, Malganus is going to be located right there pretty much. You're just going to want to make the left here and kill the, this guy that's on top of the drake. So... You kill him if you have the time left, then that's a really easy mount you have. So, there you go, there's the bronze drake, once you loot him, there he is. Very, very simple. Just takes a little bit because of how long this dungeon takes, but other than that, very easy mount. Next up, and last up, is the Hearthsteed. This mount is very simple, you get this by playing or winning three games of Hearthstone. Very simple, Hearthstone's a fun game, you guys should probably already be playing it because... I know I've put my fair share of time into our stone, so. But yeah, you just win three games and you'll get yourself a mount in World of Warcraft, so very easy way to build up your mount counter. Thank you all for watching. That is nine mounts that you can easily get. They are not very hard at all. Just take a few seconds. The longest one is the Bronze Drake. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next. I'm going to make guides on mounts and achievements, and stay awesome.